we can start with Europe if you want. To okay, so, so you're basing your standards ba based on the European society, am I right? Yes. Okay. Do you think? Do you think? Wait, wait. This is good. Do you think the standards of the European society are moral? <laughs> you see, no. seriously, bro. No, no, we are the going all up. Okay. No, 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 no. Let me get you. Even if we check the Muslims, I can even ask you. No, so no, just you answer the question I'm asking you. But, yeah, forget but I'm about, asking. No, no, forget no, no, about I'm everything asking, else, yeah? because okay. you, I asked you, what moral standards are you actually judging the Quran based on? You said based on the standards and the morals of Europe. Of Europe, All right? So far, I, I can I can say my own. Yes, I can. We can start there. My own and for my own thinking. Your own means own what? Who are you, bro? We don't know who you are. <laughs>
We know the passage. What yes. exactly is your contention with regards to this ayah? Chapter 33, verse 37. Yeah, the morally, I can't find it. It's what's, good. When what's your our, contention? What, what do you mean with the word contention? I don't understand. Contention what's your issue? What what's issue your have issue? issue? All right. Why is it disturbing you? Yes, because uh, this action is being justified in the Quran, and I have a problem. Okay, tell us the justification that is in the Quran. No, because no, Shaykh, the wait, verse... before, he, before he gives yeah, us the yeah, but just I want to know what exactly yeah. is his objection. Yes. I'm and from what here. moral standard <laughs> does it come okay. from? Of course. So as I told you, for me, I uh, cannot understand some of the actions or some of the things we have in the Quran. It's coming from uh, Allah. I, that I find it it's not morally good. Based and, on what? Uh, Based on whose morals? Whose Based moral standards are you using? My own morals or worldly morals. Like we Sorry? can... Uh, no, the moral of the world. Did he say his own moral standards? He said yes. his own oh, moral standard. standard. Yes. That's what he said. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Which, yes, which society are you referring to? And, and you know, different societies have society. different moral values. So which society okay, are you referring we, to? We can... We, we can re I'm referring to the society I'm living today, or even in the. I don't Muslim know which society, society you're living in today. I have no idea. Europe. We can start with Europe if you want. To okay, so, so you're basing your standards ba based on the European society, am I right? Yes. Okay. Do you think? Do you think? Wait, wait. This is good. Do you think the standards of the European society are moral? <laughs> you see, no. Seriously, bro. No, no. We are going no, 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 no. Let me get you. Even if we check the Muslims. I can even ask you. No, so no, just you answer think the it's... question I'm asking you. But, yeah, forget but I'm about... asking... No, no, forget no, no, about asking... everything else. Yeah. Because you, I asked you, what moral standards are you actually judging the Quran based on? You said based on the standards and the morals of Europe. Of Europe. Europe. Right so far? I, I, can, I can say my own, yes. I can, we can start there. My own and for my own thinking. Your own means own what? Understanding. Who are you, bro? We don't know who you are. <laughs> what do you mean? Did you create your own morals somewhere? No, but I have an understanding of what's a good moral. So I have How a do you brain. know that? Because your morals, you know, in, even within atheism, yeah, one person's morals can be another's, uh, for example, righteous deed or something. Mm -hmm. Sorry, one, one person's immorality might be another person's morality. Okay, to begin with, I can just uh, ask a question to the panel. You know, there are, so certain, you... there are certain Europeans who consider incest to be moral. Do you know that? Okay. Going off topic. Uh, yes, to it's not off topic. No, no, no. But Your is... standard is European morals, so I'm still on topic, my friend. Okay. Just because can, they don't I, agree okay, with I... your personal no, morals. No, 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 not only incest, same sex oh. marriage. Same sex no, no, marriage. I'm just giving him one example. Okay? He might be okay with the same sex marriage because he, he likes European standards, morals. Yeah. But many but many atheists will also be disgusted with the idea of sleeping with their parents or with yes. their sister or yes. something like that, you know? Even yes. they will be disgusted. That's the reason I gave him this example. So, no, okay, I can, please, wait, wait. wait. I really want to know from you, what are, what is the yardstick or what is the standard of your morals? Is it still European morals or have you changed your mind now? No, it's still European. That's just my it's own still mind. European. So, are you okay with incest then, yeah? Are you okay with incest? But that's a different. Uh, I no, no, no. It's, it's European. I, it's European morals. Not a different topic. I have never hated. They they're okay with incest. Just because you haven't heard doesn't mean anything. Just Google it's, it. I, I, I can't honestly. give you the countries. I can't you give Google you the countries right now, if you want. Which countries are actually within the Scandinavia? Trying to pass Scandinavia. The Scandinavia. Scandinavia. Yeah. No, no. Let him do okay, it. Let so him so do you mean in the Scandinavia? It's all right just because the, he hasn't heard it. No, no, I want nothing. to understand. No, I want to understand. So you mean in the Scandinavia, they are all right with incest? That's yes. Some no, of the countries saying, in Scandinavia, you're, 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 they are. Saying everyone. I can, yeah, I can, I can on, have that. Yeah, you're making we're that claim. We're not saying so everyone. You can give me the, yes. No, but I'm, I'm telling you, if, if there are people who are actually advocating or <laughs> even trying to pass bills through the parliament to permit incest, and one day, I'm pretty sure, just like, you know, homosexuality, it took a long time for them to actually acknowledge and start uh, adopting it as, as being okay in the society. 
because previously it was actually banned. Not only banned, there was death penalty for it. Let's this from today. Okay, we can come. So to tomorrow, it, you know, come, legally, come another come generation, and 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 they will be okay. You know, bestiality, for example, is permitted in some countries already. In Germany, are you okay with Germany. bestiality? Sorry, you, now we are going again off topic. Bro, I'm, I'm talking about moral support. is your standard. Okay, so I, I'm. I we are not to, changing any you, topic. Okay, I asked okay, you then... what moral standards, and you okay. said European standards where I live. So, do you, okay, regarding the Islamic morals, if I understand, these words justify marrying with your adopted son's wife. It's yes, morally it's good. In the, in it the, is not his uh, adopted uh, son. Let's no. Let's establish one thing from the beginning. It is not, not his adopted son. It was abolished. But was it abolished before or after? To begin with, when was before, it before, before the marriage, you mean? Before the marriage, yeah. Can I have the tafsir? Okay, of course, I can have it. Can you show me? I don't, what, what, what do you mean? I show you the tafsir? No, show me the hadith, the claim. You where is the? I have the tafsir. I don't find it there. So you can show me that the, the tafsir has the got Polish nothing. Control. It has. Listen, listen to me. Listen one thing. Yeah. That, that's why I asked you. Is Zaid, is Zaid, is he the child of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Regarding to the Tafsir, I've been, I've been read. No, is Zaid, is Zaid ibn Haritha, Zaid ibn Haritha, is he the child of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He's his adoptive son. Yeah, Akhi, yeah, Akhi, brother, understand me. Adoption was adoption at the beginning of Islam. It was allowed. Then, then Allah Jalla wa Ala says, "Ud'uhum li abaihim dalika khair aw dalika aqsat عند Allah." The, then it was abolished. Now, what I'm saying yeah, I'm, to I'm you, looking, no, no, I'm looking for this. Uh, yeah, you can show me. I, I'm, is, I'm learning, so you can. I'm I've just told for you the, the verse. "Ud'uhum li abaihim." Name them to their fathers. Listen. Is Zayd ibn Haritha, is he the is he the biological son of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? No, he's not the biological son. He's not. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is allowed to marry his wife if he divorces her. And you know who says that? Allah jalla wa ala. And guess who married her to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Allah jalla wa ala. Because in the verse that you, you mentioned, فلما قضى زيد منها وطر زوجناكها لكي لا يكون على المؤمنين حرج في أدعيائهم. في أزواج. ها؟ يا دكتور. في أزواج أدعيائهم. جزاك الله خير في أزواج أدعيائهم بارك الله فيك. Okay, but the claim is what my claim so, is. That so, I so the same verse that you quoted. Sorry, just let me explain to you. The same right. verse that you quoted. Has got the answer, but you didn't look at the answer. You went looking I've for the. No, no, I, no, I've been, I've been looked the answer. That was I have been reading the tafsir, and that was I'm asking you. We, we can check the tafsir. You can put up the tafsir. tafsir and I think we are going in circles. We need to understand first of all, marrying the divorced wife of the adopted son. You find it's it halal. something. You find it something. That is objectionable based on your standards, right? Just a second. I will. I will just give you one thing. You think it's uh, in Islam? You think it's all right for a Muslim to look at a married woman? We can start there. You think it's a uh, it's allowed? You now you know? discussing something totally different. No, 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 no. It's, no, no, it's the same. No, no. I, I'm, Mansour, I'm Mansour, my point. Mansour, I'm my point. Mansour, Mansour leave him to me, please. Mansour, if I can no, have no, him to me. No. Barakallahu feek. Do you know the name? Do you know the name of uh, of uh, the uh, the wife of uh, of Zaid? Do you know her name? Yes, it's uh, Zainab. Bint Bint Z Zainab. There are so many Zainab. Which Zainab? But why is it important? It is very important. Of course, it is very important to know with Zainab. It's Zainab bint Jahsh. So who is Zainab bint Jahsh? But the tafsir is saying Zainab. I don't need to check. Okay. Need to know the whole no, no. It's Zainab. so you do not even so know Zainab bin Tujahsh. Zainab bin Tujahsh is the cousin of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam knew her from when she was young. 
Now, this is what on uh, this is one thing. The second thing, who married her to Zaid? Who yeah. asked her hand for Zaid? Uh, no, it Prophet is very important that you understand Prophet this. Himself, yes. Okay, Prophet by himself. Ask his Prophet by Zayd. himself. Prophet yes. by himself. Yeah. Yes. So before you go in to ask the question, implying mm -hmm. that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is looking at the wife of another man. Before you go there, I try to stop you in your in 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 your place because that what you in, intended to say. Astaghfirullah alazim. That the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam hang on hang on. You ask the question. You ask the question. You said, is it allowed for um, a Muslim to look at a a, a, a married uh, a, a, a married woman? This is, is your question. Yeah. Is this is your question. Yes. Yeah, this is my question. So this is your question saying, implying you you implying look let's not play games i don't like games no, no, you implying I'm, you no, implying, I'm you're implying that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to look at zainab so i'm telling you that zainab it's his cousin and he knew her from when she was young and actually it was him who married her to to uh, to uh, zaid but sheikh, since sheikh, sheikh, just a, just a check let me Take a break let me tell you then it's even worse if it's his cousin and he fall in love with his cousin we can check the tafsir that was i'm telling you that's how listen 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 read. listen he fall in love. listen he you're fall talking in about love. the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam listen listen yes. you're talking about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so talk with respect but i'm referring to look i'm referring to the no no talk I'm about the prophet respect. sallallahu alaihi wasallam with respect to be honest with yes. you Okay. You're not talking about you're not talking about Tom Dick and Harry. This is the Prophet of Allah Jalla wa ala. You speak about him with respect. Okay, can I can I stop you there? I'm not telling anything from my own word. These are the tafsir and what the, the No, so you, you just said the... it is worse that he fell in love with his cousin. What's worse in that? Okay, I'm asking you. So you what are you think... implying? What are you implying? Which tafsir okay, says then... it's worse that he will fell tafsir... in love with his cousin? So, no, so can you tell me then a married woman also being a cousin you wait find a second him wait good. a second bahis huh? the huh? sheikh asked you a question which tafsir hmm? did you hear or you read that that he fell in love with his cousin okay jalal line i have a jalal al jalal line jalalain yeah yes can we begin there does, it, that say, does it say that he fell in love with her yes uh I, look before we go there, look, 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 there. No, but we can check the tafsir why are we not checking the commentaries on it do you mind do you mind reading it for us go ahead we're listening okay all right just a second i will have it here uh it's uh verse 36 all right that was the two yes. these two words let's read yeah? the tafsir all right yeah. all right uh, so you want me to read it from the beginning or to the no the uh, section right. which says what you what you've claimed okay all right does the prophet gave her in marriage to zaid then on one occasion he the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam caught sight of her and felt love for her whereafter when he realized that zaid lost his affection for her and so said to the prophet i want to part her but the prophet said to him retain your wife for yourself as god exalted he, he says so you you catch me he said her continue he love for her no yeah but you no you're asking me he saw her, if no he continue her. continue don't stop there continue there's no more on this ayah this is the okay now 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 hang on who says that what which that, that would be like a hadith what's the what what what's the say uh, what's the grade of that so you mean Jalalain, uh, for example, so you mean Jalalain is uh, not a big scholar or I want to understand? No, what you've read, you've read there yes. and you stopped. I said to you to continue. No, but then we will come to the verse 37. Now I'm speaking about the verse 36, which you want me to refer, where he told that he felt in love. And I show you, this is verse 36. And now that's, want that's the Mufassir saying, that's the Mufassir saying, does it say in the Quran that he fell in love with her? No, but the tafsir is the explanation of the verse. So you by you know, do you know do you know do you know the story of you or you do not know the story? Let me tell you the story. No, 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 no. They... No, 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 no. Let me begin just a small thing. You see, last time when I spoke, you told me 
I have to check the tafsir. I have to check. I've done my. So uh, you went to Jalalain. You went to Jalalain. Let me bring another tafsir which will be different. No, to, but we can take one point at the moment. So with this Jalala, I want to understand. So we ex, ex, uh, I say we accept him or not? I just want to know. If you're telling me no, he's a not, then bring me something else. But we stick to the point. I show you the tafsir. So how can you explain for me then? What does I say was wrong? Just bear with me because uh, okay. I can, if you want, I can give you also Al Tabari. If you were looking for one more, I can give you one another scholar, Al Tabari. Uh, one of the privilege of our Prophet, it's even explained there, that if he sees a married woman, then the man have to dis divorce her wife. If you want, it's the same uh, tafsir uh, regarding this verse 37. So uh, I have got Tafsir ibn Kathir in my hand, and it doesn't say, and it doesn't say that. So what you have to understand, so if the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would have wanted, he is the one that married her to him, to him. So for you to say, for you to say that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so the Prophet وسلم, did not love, uh, fell in love with her until he got, he got her married to Zaid. Then he fell in love with her. Subhanallah. Okay, Sheikh. We can you, what you have to understand. What you have no, to no, understand. No, 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 no. Sheikh, no, no. When she married, can... stop saying no, 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 and listen. You, listen to no, what I'm saying. Not, but I'm not when, okay. when Zaid. When, when she married Zaid, it was after a year they started having problems. The, the reason why they started having problems, because Zaid, Zaid was not like a free man. First of all, Zaid, you need to know his, the whole story of him and how he was, that he was, uh, that, that he was a child that was, uh, was abducted and then the prophet, he was given to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he was a servant of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he saw him being a, a good person and that, his family found out where Zaid was and they came to get him back. But they chose the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam over his family. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam kept him and loved him so much as to class him as his son. But then the verse of abolishing, abolishing, uh, abolishing, uh, what we call it, uh, adoption, abolition adoption came. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stopped. Not only the Prophet, but all the Muslims that they had adoptive uh, children. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam married him to someone who is from the family of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his cousin, Zainab bin Tujahsh. And after a year, they started having problems. The reason why, because for her, Zaid was not like of her, of her in the same, same lineage as her. He wasn't in the same level of, uh, of that. So the Allah Jalla wa Ala, what you have to understand, it is the reason why Allah Jalla wa Ala wanted wanted uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to marry her. And it was Allah Jalla wa Ala who gave her in marriage to the Prophet. So Allah Jalla wa Ala did what we call a ruling for us that whoever, whatever Muslim, if he has got a son which he had adopted or fostered, I'll, I'll use fostering because adoption is haram in Islam, I'll use fostering. If someone fosters a son, and that son marries a woman and then divorces the woman, Allah Jalla wa Ala is telling us that that woman becomes halal for the man who has fostered that child to marry. 
So it is Allah, because as I say to you, you read verse 36, but the answer to your question, if you would have continued, it is in verse 37. Can I answer now, Sheikh? Okay. Yeah, go uh, ahead. If we can get the point, okay, we can start with there. But if we check the Quran verse 37, if you just, we can, we can have the verse, I have it in front of me. What is the meaning of uh, what our Prophet have in his heart? If we just check there, what's concealing in your heart, what Allah is going to reveal. So give me the explanation. For this was before Zaid divorced Zainab. So you see what I mean? So is it allowed to? Listen, what, what was yeah. the verse before then? The verse before then, what does it say? Read the verse before then what it says. It's, it's saying what it's and you say to the one whom you have Im read read from that verse okay. okay it is not for a believing man or woman when Allah SWT and his messenger decree a matter to have any other choice in that matter indeed whoever disobeys Allah SWT and his messenger has clearly gone far astray this is the verse before 36 and now we come to the verse 37 so where is the background which you are speaking about? I'm talking about verse 36 exactly. Yeah, no, this is verse 36 of Surah Al-Azab. That's what I, I read for you. Look, read, وَإِذْ تَقُولُ Read 37, وَإِذْ تَقُولُ And you say. I see, okay, I can, that, that's something. Yeah, you. read it, please. Okay. Read it, please. All right. And remember, O oh, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when you say to the one for whom Allah SWT has done a favor and you to have done a favor, keep your wife and fear Allah. Okay, wife... stand, stay there. But sorry, stay there. We'll okay. take it bit by bit. Okay, by right. okay. So in here, Allah Jalla wa ala is telling the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what is the Prophet telling Zaid? Keep your wife and fear Allah. All right. If, okay. you, if you continue... Why yes, continue. Conceal? Yeah, but, but no, but it's Why? very important. But it is very important to know that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is telling Zaid to keep his wife and fear Allah. Of course, while concealing within yourself what Allah subhanahu wa taala was going to reveal. So, if you just stick to that point and check the tafsir for just continue. This no, continue. Continue oh, with the, the verse. One in the point. No, one in the point. Explain me this meaning, tafsir of this meaning then. What, what does it mean in this case, concealing within yourself? I need explanation from, uh, yeah, what's the, what was it like concealing? What was it like hiding to understand? It's clear as it, as it says, Allah Jalla wa Ala, Allah Jalla wa Ala said to the Prophet that whatever you, you hiding in, in you, Allah would reveal. Very good, so okay. Okay, so, so, so that's that was when we check the tafsir and I told you the meaning of this verse is Prophet fell in love or have got to catch feelings for Zainab when she was married to Zaid and that was my question to you. There is two questions. So you no, continue. No, you have to continue with the Quran. Don't, don't say, don't, don't do like uh, the, the verse. Uh, I mean, oh, no, continue with the, continue yeah, reading. This is, okay, this is the continuing. We will go back to it. We will go back to it, but just continue reading. Okay, okay. The top seed is saying, but you had hidden in your heart what God was to disclose, what he was manifest of your love for her. You see, God is saying in the top seed, it's like, Manifest of your love for her. It's not Allah <laughs> Jalla wa Ala who's saying that. <laughs> <not, laughs> You need to stop you know, saying actually, that. Actually, why, why, you know, I, I want to understand why you're not using Ibn Kathir's tafsir. It's very clear in that. Yeah. Shall I bring it up? Brother Hashim, give me just two no, seconds. No, no, no. He, if he just continues no, with no, it, you see what he's okay. doing. He, he is he's trying, he's he's trying his best statement. to look at all the tafsirs and try to see which, according to that, makes sense to him. Now he thinks that this is something no, no, embarrassing. No, no, no. Now it's a pick and choose. It is not. It's very clear. An adopted son of the Prophet, peace be upon him, Yes, it's something that because in the society it was a taboo to get married to an adopted son's wife, even an ex-wife. 
So the but Allah we, we had are... better plans, okay? And Allah said, this is something. Now that the marriage is no more, okay? Zaid has now divorced Zainab. And now, brother Hashim, because according respect. to the no, society, no, it was not permitted. Not, this is That's not, the reason no, no, this is not after. after. No, no. Brother Hashim, sorry. This oh, is not is. after. So this is before. It was permitted afterwards. Yes. When Allah said it is, it is we you should fear, not the society. Okay. Sorry, I, I also, there's yes. one thing that you're skipping over, my, Bahid. No, no, no. I, I need to put my point. There. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because no, no, no. Why, why are you I've listened to you for a long time, bro. And here's the, here's your issue. Maurice, your Maurice, issue. just a second. Sorry. You're, you see? I, I'm sorry, man. I can't. No, no, you're, let Maurice say, and before. then you can say. No, no, no. I can say. I he's, can't, he's been bro. waiting patiently no, no, to say no. this. I can't, I can't wait on it because you're having, a, you're having a principal issue, dude. And your principal issue is that you think that ishtihad of an event is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you're taking it for face value. Barakallahu fiqh. Do you understand what ishtihad is? Before we go there, I want to... No, no, see, see, I just chopped you right you, at the knees. You, this you, is no, great. You, you were oh, relying this, on the this, stuff you're being, a, you're being a... And look. You're not putting me in my point what I'm telling you. And tafsirs are opinions, you know that. You see, you're Brother. Going, still, you're not letting me. I want to put my point and then... We, we give you enough time. Come on, stop no, saying no, that. No. We are not Hashim. Hashim, I've been in the screen for five hours. I've seen all the speakers yeah, before. You can be four hours or speaking. five hours. You are not going to but come on the screen me. and say we did not let you talk when we clearly so, did. You're, you're cutting me again. You're not letting me put my point. You're cutting playing me the victim, dude. I'm going to remove you otherwise. Okay, you have been afraid. doing this that's, that's in the point. private chat. I, I made you apologize yeah. as well. Nobody's afraid Stop of you, dude. Okay, then you're answer the question. I don't care if you stay yeah. in the back uh, chat for 10 that. hours. If you're going to start playing all these games okay. here, this is not the right panel for you. So stop with the games. Okay, I, then I'm telling you, the Quran words, whose words are there? What is your, so far, what is your contention? I'm still confused as to what objection you have with this ayah. Objection, yeah, objection. I'm telling you, it cannot be a word of God because God cannot... Uh, tell us to do like these things. And Who I are you to say what you... God can say or not? You you base your morals on European standards where they sleep one night, get rid of the woman. Next night, they sleep again with another woman. One night stands. These are your morals, bro. How dare you say what Allah has to say in the Quran and what compared to your European morals? Okay, I can you give you your one. family. Okay. You left okay, Islam. Like... You are a murtad now. And you think you got morals? Seriously? And that too, you concede it. Yeah, it is European yeah, standard yeah. morals. Brother Hashim, Hashim, no, no, no. Hashim, Hashim, the answer, the yeah, answer yeah, to all his questions are in the answer to all his questions are in the verse. Are in the verse. I know, I know the verse. But is he's clear picking clear. and choosing. He's picking yes. and choosing. And you know, what he annoyed me. What annoyed me that he said that he 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 mentioned love and he said, look what Allah said, and Allah never said that. No. Look, uh, sorry. Allah no, didn't say because of in the your ayah, love for you her. Us in the ayah um, where he says right. about the love. Go on. Okay, then then you can explain to me what does it mean while considering the finish universe. finish the verse and I'll explain to you. Finish the verse. Okay. 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 Let me the let me make it easy for him. Let me bring the ayah in the in. Barakallah. Okay. okay yes. Can. Very good. We can, we can very good. We can bring it and I can. Yeah. And I'm just. We're going to show us the term love in that ayah. Let's see. No, very no. good. Uh, you, no, no, no. Why, why are you backing out now? No, you're not letting me speak what I'm trying to say. See, again, you're playing the victim card again. And you're cutting me each time. Bro, you're, to... you're honestly so insecure that you have to play the victim card. You tried doing that in the private chat. I had to rebuke you for it. Brother Shane, you know, this is the thing. You cannot answer directly. That's the thing with this panel. Nobody's okay, answering goodbye directly. Then. Why do you think we are wasting our time with you, man? Go away, go somewhere else. That's yeah, really silly, dude. Well, like, the guy's playing victim card every minute. Okay, not letting me speak, not doing this, not doing that. He's I mean, trying to dictate to Allah what the moral should be when he's following the I mean, European standard of morals. Look, Look. Allah, Jalla wa ala, you know, subhanallah, Imam al Bukhari, rahmatullahi alayhi, mentioned that you know what she used to say to the to, to the women of the to the wives of the Prophet. Your family gave you in marriage, and me, Allah Jalla wa ala, gave me in marriage. So Allah Jalla wa ala is the one that married her to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, so to stop this kind of like, if you fostering, if you have fostering children, not to be, uh, not, uh, not, not to marry their uh, divorcees. Yeah, I want to share.
We will share um, this article in icraa.org, ikra.org. This is an um, article written by um, Waqar and his team. Um, I'll mention... Do you, do you want to go to the title? Uh, yeah, I will go to the title in a second. So there is I mean, a huge document there. So if you, whoever wants to have a broader look into it, establishing the meaning of the verse Quran 3337, what we we're discussing. And here the critical verse of uh, part of the Quranic verse is mention of what the Prophet hid and Allah made known. This is what his questions was yes. exactly. Yes. And that the Prophet feared people on that account. So what did it's Allah so make it known? I don't know or where he got become... the thing from. It's obvious that it was the fear of the people. It's the most yeah. obvious thing in the world. Like yeah. you know, in you know, I haven't got Al Jalalain, but I am I don't trust him that Al Jalalain would have said that. No, I Jalalain, don't trust him. No, no, Jalal, I'll, I'll tell you what Jalalain says in in a second, but even but Jalalain can also get information. Just like many Mufassirin, they yeah, get information. That's what from I said to him too. That's what I said to him Sanad is, for it. Yeah, it doesn't that's mean why I this asked is, him for a Sanad. Yes. So it doesn't mean just because a Mufassir says so, this is what the Quran is implying. Because no, many Mufassirin in no. different stages, they had information which is not something that is uh, contextual to the Quranic uh, message there. So what did Allah make known or had it become manifest? It was the Prophet's marriage with Zainab, regarding which it is said that Allah then married her to the Prophet. This is what Allah made known and not something of the alleged feelings of the Prophet. But it was clear that what the Prophet had was the fact that he had been told by revelation of the breakup of Zaid and Zainab, followed by his own marriage with Zainab. The same has been reported from some of the earliest authorities, such as Zainal Abdin, Ali ibn Hussein, and this is how the narration This is, is. the grandchild of the Prophet yeah. Correct. And yeah. Brother Mansur, if I could just add something, the key yeah. thing here, the key thing here is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had to create a circumstance for the Prophet to be an, an example, because there was Barakal things that were going on. So when the, when the circumstance was created, and the revelation came down, knowing that these are all people that he cares about, he has to present it to them in a way. So of course he's gonna feel a certain type of way. If we look at the character of the Prophet Salam and the way that people mistreated him, and then the way that he would react to this type of mistreatment, he would have a particular like shyness to him to approach certain subjects. So like, this guy just came in here banging a bunch of drums and he's been in the private chat for so long. But can, can, you, can you get us the Jalalain, please? Because I, I believe he lied about Al Jalalain. Al Jalalain has said something similar. So I'll, I'll give you in a second. So this is the document, which is a very long document. Um, yeah. Background to the Prophet's marriage with Zainab by Waqar Shima. And you can read this in Ikra. ICRAA.org. If you wrap the, so it's, it's a very detailed analysis to totally debunk the whole idea of what people are saying. Okay. So Jalalain, this is what Jalalain says. Yeah, I think this is what he was reading here. <laughs> فَرَقَهَا. So this is this is what he's saying. That he looked at her after a while, then in his heart uh, he felt love or something. Yes, he felt love. He felt love yeah. in his heart. Yeah. yeah. So this is what he's reading from Jalalain. And the, and he thinks this is what the Quran is intending. Many Mufassirin, they have their interpretation from different sources they're coming along. In fact, here there is no sources mentioned. That's why that article I mentioned goes through in detail of different sources from the earliest. Um, if, if I quickly go through, you will see many of the hadith on this bab, on this chapter specifically, uh, different reports and their authenticity. From, it's a full detailed analysis just to understand what is going on and all different people narrating and on this issue. So it's a very um, informative article for people to um, read. And in fact, the Bahith who was just here calling himself Bahith, he should read this. I mean, he should have read this and he wouldn't have, have to come and discuss this. Uh, this is one of the things that we find. The critics of Islam, 
they think they have found something and they don't bother to go and search for is there a Muslim response to this already? Mm -hmm. All you need to do is go and find out and you know just search in a search engine and see whether the Muslims have already responded to it. You can find articles, you can find you know videos made about it. And even after that, knowing that there is a cogent response, acceptable, reasonable response to your objection, so-called objections allegation, on what basis, reasonable, justified, you know, moral basis? I will, I will question the morality of individuals like that. That you, you know, come and start thinking. Oh, you know, let me just, you, let me just. You know, it's annoying. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. annoying, brother Mansour. It's the way what really turned me off. It's what it's the way he was speaking about the Prophet sallallahu yeah. alaihi wasallam yeah. as if he's speaking about your blog. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. just I like as if he's yeah. uh, he thought. It, and then and then what finished me when 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 brother uh, uh, Hashim barakallahu fi questioned his morality. He goes Europe. And by the way, just for the audience's benefit, any time that you're thinking of the Prophet, uh, you, you already know what the rules are when you're thinking about another Muslim. You always give them the benefit of the, of the doubt, doubt. Mm -hmm. positively. Now imagine that and elevating it to the Prophet. If it says that he had a love for this person, imagine f finding out through revelation that this is one of the chosen people by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For all we know, she could be guaranteed Jannah because she's a she's a wife of the of the prophet right so she's if, guaranteed jannah if you if you if you're sitting there and you find out that someone is chosen and you've known them your whole life right of course you're going to have a love for that person that doesn't translate into a lusting which is where this guy was going and that's what bothered me and you know brother you know subhan subhanallah it was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who married her to, yeah. to him. And worse than that, she's his cousin. When I say to him, it's his cousin, he goes, that's worse, even worse. What do you expect with someone who bases his morals on Not European much. European morals? <laughs> I mean, wallahi, you know, they will they will accept everything that they think the European model is because this is what they secular communities do and they leave Islam because they are in love with what the secular society gives them. You, the you, you know, other Hashim, I'm going to correct sleep you. Sleep around with women. I'm going to correct you, Hashim. I'm yes. going to correct you. They don't leave Islam. Islam leaves them. Yes. Well, you know, Allah snatches the hidayah from them. You That's know? what I mean. The Islam leaves them. For them. So they are the, I think, the most misfortunate uh, people in the world because they had they had Islam and it's been snatched away from them. Okay? Islam doesn't, I mean, the thing is Allah doesn't need them. They need Allah because on Yawm al qiyamah they will be wishing that they had stuck to Islam and with the morals that Islam brought, not something that the dunya gave them. Because they want, they want all this, you know, all the sins that they want to commit. Because Islam prohibits you from drinking alcohol, yeah. from womenizing, from you know abusing your your time, your life style is of such that who cares other than yourself? You're the center of attention. You want to be of everything, rather than making Allah the center. You're making your own desires, yes, your own whims and desires as your Lord, because that's what you're worshiping basically. And that's why when I asked him what's your standards, he goes European standards. Anyway, so yeah, I mean that's your mis misfortune that. Uh, uh, no, but Barakallah, we can speak away. about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We need yeah. to speak with uh, Allah Jalla wa Ala in the Quran. It says لا لا ترفعوا أصواتكم عند صوت النبي. You know, Subhanallah. You know, and someone coming and talking about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a way that he would not talk about his best friend in that way.